Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today I bring the G Tech, the G Tech A20M printer. So, this printer is made to print in two different colors, and we're going to take a look at it and see what you get when you purchase it like this. I open it up just to get the instructions out. We're going to put this on the side, how to set it up step by step, and we're going to see if we can do a time lapse on it. And we're going to print out some other time. We're just going to put it together see how difficult it is sorry about my mess i got my camera equipment and my tools in the background and my new desk table i just made just for these kind of things of course i put in the power here and i do want to house this underneath here so we are going to cover it up somehow where all my tools are at uh so let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what you get the band the top of it the cake the the actual plastic in here this is a uh, uh it has adhesive on the bottom of it that goes on the plate itself so we're gonna put this on the side don't lose it because it was a kind of like a hidden compartment in here you can see it it's some tape in here you open it up and you get access to it and this is important so this is what you're gonna need to uh, tape this on the base itself uh, they do make a magnetic one that i had that you just break a piece and the, the print comes out but it's a little smaller encasing here but i'm going to print out a little larger equipment of course if you can see everything's in well well secure in here so we're going to take piece by piece out power um more cables more bolts more parts of everything everything's numbered too all right so a name so you're going to follow the instructions how to set it up of course the hardest part is you know putting it together and, and of course to give you all this instruction we got plenty of space plenty of room we're going to take everything apart in pieces and then we'll set it up all right we went to a smaller unit of course smaller base uh the only reason is because of space so that's the only thing i had the other one it was a lot larger but it's a lot better the other one than this one uh, we're going to test it out, see how well it works. It's already pretty preset for some of the settings. Uh, we got all the boxes and everything ready. This plate is going to go on the top here, like I said. Uh, we're going to tape it up, recommend it, layer, uh, all the tubing, all the stuff, power, and connection. So we're going to follow the instructions step by step. And let's go ahead and do a little time lapse on this. Alright, first time printing here guys. Uh, it took me a while to even put this trim in here, but I was able, I'm temporarily setting them up out there so it won't put any weight on this. Um, I'm actually going to fit it in here, put some plexiglass all around it, keep it heated, and maybe stabilize it right here in the bottom of me so when I'm working, it could be here and then I can connect directly on the top of it too. So I'm going to try to cable management and all this stuff. So right now we're just going to test it out first time and as you can see it's heating up the bed um i did the coordinating of the of the beds make sure and then the next stop we're going to do an automatically balance uh, an automatic adjustment too so we are doing the automatic uh, whatever's on the sd card uh, of course it has a usb here guys but we're not connecting it right now we're just t testing it out might do that in the future set it up um, but right now we're just putting one color in right now it's already struck and um, i did test it out and it came out with this orange thing and there it goes it's first time printing so let's see how it goes um i did do the uh, leveling of the bed 
Uh, it's not that hard, so we're gonna see how well it works right now. And if you can see, it's actually extracting. And I'm doing the see-through one, if you can see it, that one right there. So, let's see how it goes. And this is the test that we're doing right now. I let it run for a bit. I don't know what happened but at the end it was working very well you can see it it came out really beautiful at the bottom but at the end uh the drops is where i lost it right here so off the bat i'm gonna still twinkle with this i must um mess around with it a little bit more but it failed the first time this is my first print um i'm still gonna do some adjustments tighten up some stuff um it, it looks like the filament on the top this is where it kind of fell off and let me see how it's strong it's it's oh i can't even move it it's failed on the top it's completely failed but the whole body itself so other than that um gonna see if i can twist it off but yeah it's hard it's really hard in there so all right they give you this to actually try to break it apart in the bottom see it i did line it up it came out really good in the bottom but the, the top is where it messed up look at this Come out really beautiful on the bottom. Damn, what a shame. Uh, it's this part's right here. It needs probably more supports. This is what it does. But we're gonna take it apart. But first time out of the box, print kind of failed. You know. You
All right. So the, the actual printer was a bust, to be honest with you. I printed these out. These actually are, are probably the best ones. Then only one of them printed out pretty good. The other one came out horrible. Um, so it, it prints really good for small stuff, small minimum stuff. But uh, it printed out really good in the, in the beginning. And then it just turned into horrible. So you got to tweak the printer a lot. Do not recommend you guys at all the printer. It's very difficult. It's not one of those creative uh, printers that you just get up and go and set it. I mean, it's a lot of tweaking. And on top of that, the firmware upgrade was impossible. And if you try to put a a, a 3D touch um, to automatically level, it, it is uh, like pulling teeth, to be honest with you. You need some coding information. So um, you need some, some knowledge on it to how to code some of the changes. Uh, this is my effect that came out. I do not recommend you guys the printer. The printer is one of the worst ones. I, I have four of them. And to be honest with you, I, I never had to do this much tweaking on the machine like I'm doing now. So, um, other than that, I don't recommend you guys. Um, don't get it. It's one of the worst ones. Uh, I printed out, like I said, these things okay, but this one's horrible. And, um, look at this. It's just completely a mess. On the top, it's unstable. Uh, you got to stabilize it, mess around with it, and that's about it. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let me know. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.